This slide concerns the parameter lambda in the exponential distribution. The lambda parameter is often referred to as a rate. In a queuing model, for example, lambda might represent the arrival rate. Likewise, in a queuing model, not only do customers arrive to the queue, they also get serviced at the queue, so lambda might refer to the service rate if service times are exponentially distributed. In actuarial science, lambda is referred to as the death rate. In reliability, lambda is always referred to as the failure rate. And in addition, in something that is known as Markov models, you have a transition rate. And Markov models show up in epidemiology and biomathematics, sociology. Here's a quick example from biomathematics of a Markov model. You have four different states that are possible for the evolution of a disease. The first state is susceptible. Next state is you are infected with the disease. The third state is you're recovered from the disease. And then you can also succumb to the disease and you die. So in this particular case, the entire population probably starts out in the susceptible group and there is a transition to the infected group and that transition from susceptible to infected occurs at some rate some transition rate in a Markov model then from infected you can transition to the recovered group or you can die from the disease and you transition here. So these Markov models, for example, have applications in biomathematics and in many other areas as well. The exponential distribution is absolutely pivotal in something known as random processes that evolve over time. And those are often termed stochastic processes. This current class in probability is a prerequisite for a stochastic processes class. And if you have room in your schedule to take such a class, it is highly recommended.